Well, I'm so glad to continue an over 35 year tradition here at News Channel 9 for our annual winter outlook. It's Thanksgiving week, and that's when we typically do this. And it's one of my favorite forecasts of every year. These are challenging. There's no magic eight ball, no set blueprint to look at a seasonal outlook. But what we have to do is look at a lot of global patterns and research to put this all together. Now, let's look back at last year. It was a winter that really wasn't there. It was much warmer than average. In fact, it was the fourth warmest on record since 1879, but ranked number one in no fun by area school children. Why? There was not much snow, if at all, and that carried over from the previous season before that. So two of the past five seasons haven't had much snow. So I know for a lot of you, you're hoping for a little bit more as we into the season. Now again, as we look at this, what I usually study are past similar winter patterns along with the global patterns that are going on and the various forecast models. Yes, I even look at some folklore. I studied the woolly worms. Uh, Notice the yellow jackets were active this year. Lots of spider webs. All three of those natural indicators indicate a little bit of chill during the season. We'll see if that plays into the factor there. Here are some of the research results. As we head through the season, a weak La Nina uh, could dominate or be one of the driving forces. Now it's very weak. It's one that could weaken through the uh, spring season, but typically when you have a winter that's dominated by a La Nina pattern. The polar jet is parked a little bit farther to the north of us. So the core of the cold is here, but a lot warmer down farther to our south. We can tend to be stuck in between. But when I looked at past similar seasons with a weak La Nina pattern, there was a lot of variance. Some are actually a little bit colder than average, while some were warmer. So kind of mixed signals there. But each of those did have somewhat of a snow chance. They're a little bit below average, but the chance was there. And also some of the similar patterns had back and fourth alternating periods of mild to cold. And I think that's a key for this to the season ahead as well. Also, again, we've had the computer models kind of changing a bit where some indicated a warm season ahead. Some are showing that maybe there could be a slight chill coming up. And even one other factor that always piques my interest every year is looking at the Siberian snow factor. Why is that a factor? Well, when the snow is above average in Siberia and Eurasia in October, it can tend to lead to colder periods at times or Arctic blasts that can move to the east and southeast. We'll have to keep an eye on that. So as we look at our winter temperature potential for the season ahead, I think we're going to be close to normal or maybe slightly above. So you may be saying, well, there goes winter. Not exactly. Last year we were here above average. I think this year we're going to trend closer to normal. That means compared to last year, it's going to be colder than last year. And some of that colder air at times may move our way. The snow is going to follow the cold. I think the above average snowfall is going to be of the Ohio Valley and north. But I think we're going to get a couple of opportunities during the season where some snow and even some ice could be a factor. It may still trend below average, but I think better chances for snow and ice than last year. And again, the takeaway from this, I think we're going to be a little bit colder than last year. Temperatures may still average a bit above average, but you'll need the coats a little more longer and more often this year compared to last year. Something that will kind of work out your wardrobe a little bit. And rainfall averaging out close to normal for winter rainfall. So a bit of a back and forth temperature motion throughout the season. So compared to last year, where it was such a cakewalk and so warm this year, a little different. I think the chill will be there at times. It'll be offset by mild periods, but it'll be one that we're more used to around here this time of year. But the kids want the snow. That's yeah. right. I think there's going to be some chances there. Don't give up on that. I think the chances <laughs> are there. All it takes is an inch to a quarter inch of snow or ice to cause problems. That's all That's it takes. Right. And uh, well, the kids don't care about the problems. That's right. They only care about the sled. Now, the parents, on the other hand, they care. <laughs> oh. We care. Yeah. No matter what happens, folks, we'll be there for you. And you okay. can find this whole thing on your blog in about 30 minutes. That's right. I post it all online, the long version. You want right. to read it. Thanks, okay. David. Thanks, yeah. David. Well, shop.